with 2.8 billion monthly active users. That is over a third of the world's population. Facebook is still the most used social media network to this day, making your business's Facebook page an essential key to growing your audience. With that said, one of the first things your audience sees when they open your page is your Facebook cover photo. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to design your own Facebook cover photo for your business or personal page. First thing we need to do in Canvas homepage here is click on create a design custom size, and type in a 20 by 360 pixels in your dimensions, which is the recommended size for a Facebook cover photo for a personal or business page. Before we look through Canvas templates for a design we want to start with, we have to note that the recommended size for Facebook photos is by default set for browser viewing. But Facebook does automatically crop your set photo for people visiting your page with the mobile Facebook app. Because of this, we have to make sure that we keep vital elements of our design within the area Facebook doesn't crop out, AKA a safe zone. So the first thing we need to do here on our blank page is create a margin for our safe zone. Let's do that by turning our rulers on by clicking on file and show rulers. Then on the elements tab of our tools, here on the left side of our screen, click on the square shape and resize its height to 24 pixels. You can see both the shape's height and width as you resize your object. Great, now that its height is 24 pixels, let's drag it here to the bottom of our page. Now hover your mouse over the ruler here at the top and click. Drag and keep dragging until it snaps to the edge of our shape here. Then do the same thing to the top part of your canvas and now you have a margin guide for 24 pixels at the top and bottom of your image. Now for the sides, when viewed on the mobile app, Facebook will crop 90 pixels from both left and right sides of your Facebook cover photo. So let's resize our square to 90 pixels in width and create a ruler for our sides the same way we did for the top and bottom of our image. I'm going to hover my mouse over the ruler here on the side and drag it till it snaps to the edge of the side of our square. Then do the same thing for our right side. Okay, we can go ahead and delete our shape now. And now we have rulers that show us our Facebook cover photos safe zone. We can now go ahead and proceed to design. At this point, you can either start with an empty canvas or pick out one of the many design templates here in the templates tab. Ultimately, the template you pick will have to reflect the nature of your business and the industry you're in. If you've tuned into previous design guides here in Life Marketing, we've used a mock brand called Coffee Cat for our designs and in today's guide, I'll be making a Facebook cover photo for that same brand as well. When picking out a template to start with, it's important to think about what image you want to feature. Since in this case, I'm selling coffee beans, I'm looking for a template that I can edit to feature either my product packaging or a lifestyle image of someone drinking coffee. Hey, we just helped a small business make over $1.5 million through Facebook advertising. And after managing millions of dollars in ad spend for thousands of different small businesses, we have decided to give away everything we learned to you in a special program. If you wanna learn the blueprint to success, the best practices from some of the fastest growing companies in the world, and all of the different tools you will need, then sign up for our social ads training program today. If you have a brand guide, it can be helpful to have that open in another window so you can review which templates might fit, not just for your product, but also for your brand colors and fonts. For this guide, I'll be starting out with this template over here. Great, let's start swapping out colors to fit our branding, change font styles, changing the text, and overall, just adjusting the design to fit our brand better while making sure that all of our essential elements are moved to be within the safe zone margins we added earlier. What your Facebook cover photo contains will depend on the type of business you're in, but it's always necessary to have your business's identity visually present in all of your business graphics. So definitely have your logo in there. You also want to feature an image of your product or service in your Facebook cover. Everything else, like a call to action, a headline, a subheadline, a date for an event, your company motto, is optional and again will depend on what your business is and if you're updating your cover photo for your general brand, a specific event, a product feature, a launch, and a sale, among other possible scenarios. In this case, I've added a headline to go with our general brand type Facebook cover photo. Once we're happy with our design and we've made sure nothing essential will be cut on the mobile version of our Facebook cover, 
we can go ahead and save our final design. That's it for today's video. When was the last time you updated your business's Facebook cover photo? Let us know in the comments down below and give us a thumbs up if you're thinking of using today's design guide to update it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this, as well as other essential digital marketing guides for your business. This is Jelly from Life Marketing, and I'll catch you in the next one.